Excuse me. You happen to have seen my wife? I'm not sure. What does she look like? Bright eyes, long hair, gorgeous. Not a clue. Sunny skies today with brisk easterly winds. Expect a high near food. Your favorite breakfast? Can I help you with anything? No. It's a new shirt. It's a new job? Yeah, some kind of promotion. I don't want to hear you talking like that. How can I not? I'm going from police sergeant in my country to a security guard. I feel I failed you. So who says you're going to do it forever? It's a new country. You've got to start somewhere, right? Isn't that right, Sergeant Stanton? Yes, ma'am. I'll make you proud, ma'am. Good. Now move it out. Lunch will be provided at 1,200 hours. Let's both have a nice day. You won't go too far. Let the real cops worry about it.
that your final decision? Absolutely. Very well. I have to take your gun. I couldn't do anything. They'll keep the other branches staffed by us if we let you go. But you can always depend on my referral. Sorry. The dreams have come back clearer than ever. If I could only connect my head to a tape recorder, I'd play it back for them frame by frame and show the bastards you had nothing to do with. I don't care about the job. I just don't want you feeling guilty up there, alone, thinking you sidetracked me for life. I'll be okay as long as there is a road, a package, and a deadline. And I get to work alone. I just hope I can finish paying for the van. Look, I don't ask you for much anymore. I know you want out. But I can't miss a sale like that. And Wayne, he's drinking way too much to be trusted. So you make the delivery and you get a quarter. What do you say? You know, uh... This last year's been the first time I've been able to walk around without having to watch my back. It feels good. What about your bills? You think of the money? That's cool. All paid for. I gotta do it on my own, brother. I'm sorry. Hey. What do you think of Linda's paintings? They're not bad for self-portraits. Say hi to mom. I will. You are just a dream come true. Wow, could you tell my hands were shaking? Oh, I couldn't have. Mine were shaking, too. <laughs> yeah, the thrill of working with a big star. You do have beautiful eyes. Mm. Look, there's someone I want to call. Someone I think you should meet.
Adriana Kaminsky, art dealer, Lisa Belmont, aspiring model. It's a pleasure. It's very nice to meet you, too. How did you get over here so fast? Well, of my gallery next door, that's how I know Nigel. Your old friends? Actually, he photographed some of my works and I let him exhibit some of his. Sounds pretty self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Why did he want me to meet you? Are you single? No. He wanted me to meet you because he knew I was looking for an assistant. How do you know I can do the job? Well, I don't. But Nigel told me that you were trying to get into business school. That sounds like brains and look in one package. You see, I need that. So what do you say? I guess. I mean, I'll give it a try. Good. Let's have a toast. Here we go, some lovely orange juice. To the future. To people who take chances. Sure. delivery. How may I help you? I got me Polish. White skin, a little plump. Lots of meat to sink your teeth into. Oh, I got the Italian. Dark, thin, real hot stuff. Good-sized buns on both of them. Either way, you won't be sorry. Uh, Italian. I said it before. You're in the wrong business. Yeah, I should have been an actor. Nope. Pimp. <laughs> Pimp is illegal. Yeah, so slicing down the middle. <laughs> Lucky. Bullets on the other side, you would have been a dead man. I need my ID! The wind must have taken some bills. Uh, the wind's name is Reggie. He only does that when he needs a fix. I have a feeling he's gonna drop the habit.
<laughs> not in the gallery, please. You are, do not smell like old smoke. Hey, drink, Kemiski. Brace Tanton, G.O.D. I need this filled out, please. Okay. How long have you been in this business, Mr. Staten? Two years. Where you concentrate on uh, hazardous material and uh, special items? Background in security. Okay. Do you carry a gun? Not anymore. Sounds like a whole different field. How come? I wasn't very good at small talk in the boardroom. Anyway, Mr. Stutton, what you're picking up is not uh, hazardous, but it's definitely a special item. Well, things are parked in a certain way, so they can take abuse during travel. But because of the entrance, they cannot be opened, except by us, the shipping agent, or the client. It's 500. You'll get the rest upon delivery. And Howard will be expecting you. Cash. Yeah. Cash. Fragile, 150 pounds. I need a hand lifting it. When? This is very urgent, Mr. Stutton. So no unnecessary stops. And no other deliveries. That's why we're paying you the big bucks. Understood, sir. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Well, if you give him five and you keep the rest until I see you. Well, because I'm not gonna pay a delivery man as much as I would pay my brother, come on. I'm telling you, he's gonna be fine, just relax. Bye, bye. Howard says that it's risky to use outside help. And what do you think? He looked professional to me. It's true, you have a thing about truckers. <laughs> so are you gonna do it once we get paid? Do what? Get the new jag. Put the top down. Put me on top. Hmm. On the interstate? Yeah. In doing 80. You know you're crazy. You have a death wish, lady. You know that? Fine. But not in rush hour, okay? Okay.
Thank you. Check, please. So I was supposed to be some kind of artwork? Shit, I knew it tasted funny. What? After we met, Nigel served orange juice. It tasted funny. So if they spiked it, they got all the dosage wrong. I didn't drink it all. I poured it down the sink because I didn't want to ruin the mood. This guy, Adrian, had just offered me a job. And then I felt tired, like sick tired. And I sat down on the couch for a second and I woke up in the dark. I have never been so scared in my life. Why would they do that? Where are we? A restaurant. Like how far from the city? Two hours north. So as soon as we get back, we call the cops, right? I mean, this bastard's going to jail, and I want my purse back. I'm not going back right now. What? I have to deliver the truck. So you are one of them. You were just curious what you were carrying this time? Look, if you think that you can put me back in that... You're not going to be in the trunk. That's a butter knife. So what am I supposed to do? Call a cab, call your mom. Just don't call the cops till after six. Fine. Yes, ma'am. I was wondering if you guys are going to the city. I could use a lift. Sure thing. Truck's right over here. Wasn't your boyfriend going to drive you? He's not my boyfriend, and he's going the other way. Well, let's go. Honey. I don't need your help. Actually, I changed my mind. What's wrong? I changed my mind. Forget it. Hey, we do you a favor? You do us a favor. Not too much to ask for 200 miles. I said I'm not going. It's all right. We can exchange paper for a year. Stop it. That's a big nail, Clipper. Go to hell! Ah! <laughs> Tower. Not bad. Should be here around six. 
When are you guys picking her up? Great. Thanks. Why do you still want to deliver the trunk? Because I need the money. They're gonna open it. Then wait till I leave, wouldn't you? Why? Because I'm not part of it. You will be if you take the money. How much will you get? Five. Five bucks? Five hundred upon delivery. I've already got five hundred on pickup. So one thousand. That's it. That's all I'm worth. The people who bought you are paying a lot more, I'm sure. I've got to hide you somewhere. They expect me to be alone. came with it. They said they'd use a combination lock. Thank you, Mr. Stanton. You're welcome. dark in there. Did you get your money? But they'll come after you. They'll, they'll come to your home. I don't have one. Where do you sleep? Here. you've got. That's why you needed the money. Kaminsky Gallery. What are you talking about? Probably oak or chestnut. How the fuck should I know? How oh, funny. Where's the girl? Don't you think if I knew that, I'd be on my way there? Hey, my ass is on the line, too. So the lock has been broken, right? 
You're talking about the combo lock? Yes, there's only one. What I got was a regular lock and an envelope with a key. All right, don't listen. Just keep the rest of the money until I sort this out, all right? And try to find something to say to the clients. I don't know anything. Hi, it's Adrian. Listen, I hate to bother you, but something has come up. I really need you. I'll be in the West End at 7. Please, please be there. Thanks. I heard you. It gets worse. What if it's not him? Same name, same face, background and security. That's his wife we shot. Fuck. Do you think he knows? No. That's the thing. Good. Let's keep it that way. Don't even tell Linda or Austin. We'll get him long before he knows who we are. What is this? I need to withdraw some money. There's no bank here. Mine is. What if someone found it? The locals think it's haunted. It's safer than a bank. I don't get it. You live in a cube van, you withdraw money from a hole in the wall. What are you running from? Roots. Why? They've been cut before. It hurts like hell. So what are you guys doing? Planning a robbery or something? She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? She's fucking gone. The guy took her out of the box, put another lock, and kept the money. So he knew? How could he fucking know? I found the guy in the yellow pages. He couldn't have known. Maybe the guy was nosy or something, wanted to take a look. But who gives a shit? The girl is gone. What if they called the cops, Adrian? They would have been all over us by now. You know, he's right. Oh, shit. Maybe he was happy and he kept the money or something. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna find her, find him, recover the money, and stop using the yellow pages. I'll say. <laughs> This is my fault. I should have driven that package. Don't worry about it. We're gonna catch this prick, swat him like a fly. You just be here for the ride. Not a chance, pal. I need a guide when I hit the tropics. Man, must be ages. Trev, this is Lisa. She's catching a ride to town. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Me too. Uh, she needs a room with a phone and a shower. Phone lines are busted, ma'am. Uh, 
Storm knocked down the wires, and they're still trying to fix them down the highway. Actually, you just missed a hell of a blackout. It's okay. No big deal. Look, you just make yourself at home there. Right? A couple of doors down. Thank you. Hey, Donna, uh, look who's here. Hello, Raymond. Long time no see. Nice to see you too, Donna. Oh. You look great. Oh. Uh, you know, she didn't know she's gonna go for the whole day and the evening. Uh, do you have any old T-shirts or something she could wear? Please come on inside. I'm sure we can do much better than that. T-shirts are for truckers. Oh, and you bums wash your hands for dinner. We got him. Son of a bitch had lunch here with the girl. Waitress said they left in such a hurry they almost ran two truckers over. What's wrong, buddy? Ain't it the best news all day? We got him. Shove it down his throat till he coughs up the money. Then we can have some fun with Little Miss America. Wayne, give me the gun. Jesus Christ. Wayne, you have no idea what you're doing. If the buyers had any idea you're even thinking about that girl, they'd make dog food out of you. That art school of yours didn't turn you into some kind of sissy, did it? Fuck it, I'm driving. Oh, thanks. <sighs> you can tell they're lonely, though. I know more about Donna's niece than I do about my own sister. How old's your sister? Adele just turned 18. Are you close? Yeah, she lives with my grandma. Not for long, though. She has her own room, and it's off limits. She's good. Better in school than I used to be. Oh, it's cold. Take my jacket. What? You have a gun? What do you have a gun for? It's not real. This isn't real? No. It's a BB gun. Plinker. Compressed air. Well, it can still kill okay. somebody, right? Well, I don't know. You shoot them in the eye or something. What do you use it for? God, it sure looks real. <laughs> Great. Where did you get it? This, this guy gave it up. Why? He got into music. Put your under clothes. Oh, don't get soft on me, Trevor. Jeez. What happened? I thought it's gone away. That's from the truckers, right? Yeah. It looks really bad. What if it's broken? No, it's just bruised. From Trevor, he says ice is pointless without it. He's right. Ouch. I want you to know I don't normally hop into bed with people I just met. I want you to know I don't normally fight truckers over hitchhikers. Really? And what do you do? Run them over. <laughs> truck is right there. I'm gonna go in and see what room he's in and see if the girl's with him. Why don't you stay here? Whatever you say, man. You're the boss. I don't know that. Can I help you? Hey, man, sorry to wake you. My truck broke down about a mile south, so I figured I'd try and catch him sleep and fix it in the morning. You got a room? Is that race truck out there? Yeah, you know 
Oh, man, do I know God? We used to work with the same guy doing runs up north. Is he still the same quiet loner? <laughs> Not anymore. The middle bungalow has just become the honeymoon suite, I tell you. Ray, your pager. Stay here, don't open for anyone. You know what I'm thinking? This dark out on that road. I should really stay with the truck. Company policy. Tell that son of a bitch to drop by and see me sometime and tell me about it. Okay, uh, what's your name? Peter. Sorry for the trouble. Ah, no trouble. What am I gonna tell my... Are you alone? Are you alone? Ah, finished, eh? If you shoot me, you're gonna get your buddy, too. Funny thing is, I don't give a fuck about my buddy. Now back up. Real slow. Wayne, pick up the fucking gun and handcuffs. It's embarrassing. Lisa, we can go now. Ray, what's all the noise about, man? Ah, uh, some drunk kids messing around the van. They're gone now. What, you guys are going now? What's, what, what's going on? She's not feeling well. Tell me why we're headed north. To visit a friend. We're chased by what seems like some crazy nightmare and you need to socialize? He's an ex-cop. He could help us. I'm not going to waste your time or mine. My buddy just got shot by that guy with a cube. Where did he leave and when? Uh, look, mister. Guests only tell me when they arrive. They don't tell me when they leave. I mean, even so, I couldn't tell you. It's, it's hotel policy. This change of policy? South. They're going downtown. Some emergency with the girl. My policy. What happened back there? Someone tried to break into our room? They came after us. Who? How, how many? Can you drive this thing? No. Then you'll have to ask him. Ask who? Ask what? Holy shit, we kidnapped somebody? You'll have to find out who he is and who's after us. What if you won't tell me? There are a pair of pliers in the red box. Use them. I, I can't torture someone. We need to know, and we can't stop. I'll torture him. I 
I've never done this before, so I'm probably not very good at it. But I can't drive the truck, and he's going to get real mad if I don't find out who you are and who else is after us. Stop it. I have to do this. I forgot about this. I'll tell you, I swear to God, I'll tell you, you're trying to kill me. I'll tell you. That's just scaring me half to death in the motel room. You better tell me who you are and everything else. God. His name is Austin Kaminsky. He went out looking for us with this other guy, Wayne. He was sent by his brother. Adrian Kaminsky. Right. Mr. Art Dealer. Good. What's good about it? Well, it's only them, at least for now. They wanted my eyes for transplants. If they used only one, I'd be put to work in a factory. If they used both, it would be a brothel for diplomats. Yeah. Hi, boss. Sorry to wake you. Wayne. You guys all right? Yeah. Did you find them? Yeah. He had the girl. Good. So... Bring her back and get rid of his body. They're gone. He killed Austin. What do you mean, killed Austin? How? I don't know. I was supposed to get the gun and the cuffs, and, and he did something. And then Austin's on the ground, and, and now they're all gone. OK, Wayne. Wayne, you're not drunk, are you? No. But good. So you're going to drive back right now and tell me exactly what happened from the beginning. OK? OK. Get your hands up. <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Not bad for an old man. Jesus, Raymond. You trying to get yourself killed? Is that how you greet people? Well, last time a cute van showed up in this neighborhood, Ron over there had his house completely emptied. He even took the TV antenna. <laughs> Good to see you, though. Now, what are you doing here? A friend needs advice. The blonde in the van? Is she hungry? Always. Why? Well, the fridge is empty. You're going to have to catch your dinner yourself.
Adele. Lisa's sister? Yes. Linda Fan from Kaminsky Music. Your sister's just made the shortlist in auditions for a rock video. She asked us to get you because she'll be a while doing the test shoots. She never told me. Oh, she kept it as a surprise. And she wants me there. As soon as possible. Cool. Up and I'll retape your mouth myself. I've got to pee. The key's in the toolbox. Christ. You know, before my wife divorced me, all we ever did was talk about the restaurant we were gonna build out here. Seafood, live music, it worked. And she just left, and I let go. You fight to keep what's yours. So where are you taking me? I don't know. He doesn't say much, does he? Neither should you. He'll put the tape back on your mouth. I'll trade that for a few more words with you. I heard all I needed last night. Listen, that's my brother's stuff. Then why did you have to be there? Babysitting. Wayne's big enough to take orders, but he's way too little to fall through with them. So he sent you both? Kind of like the muscle and the brain? I guess. So how can you say you're not part of it? Look, lady, have you ever wanted something really bad but you just seem to be a nickel short? You know, the whole world's riding on a fucking nickel, and you just you have to stretch to get it. She always played with boys if she had a choice. I think women should stick together more, don't you? You know, you're even prettier than your sister. And I'll make you a promise that I won't let them hurt you. Mind if I seal it with a kiss? Where did you go? 
guys are talking about. Well, I want you to know what's happened. You see, your sister is a part of this agreement which we paid her some money against future work, right? But she's gone. And she didn't do her part. So we need you to help us talk to her when she gets back. Are you agree with that? Yes. Good. I'm sorry about my secretary. Sometimes she goes too far on her lunch break. you care? They won't remember a thing. I'm trying to be a professional. You want to stay at the same wandering hall? Fuck you, Adrian. Oh, obviously. With what I've seen, I'm not the first choice, am I? I never stopped you from anything. But please, don't touch your merchandise. The buyers are my contacts. We could get the both sisters. Just think of the cash. And the Jag? Uh-huh. And the United States? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Music sounds good up here. Do you miss the city? No. I got everything I need. Do you always catch your dinner? Never. So this is your first one? No, they, they always have them there. What is he talking about? The market down the road. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm leaving. Uh, Just kidding. Hey, I know that jacket. Jesus, Ray, that was years ago. Well, the jacket and the flashlight, the only two things I kept since the bank. Well, why don't I throw these into the sink? I'm not done. OK. You guys take your time. I'll bring back dessert. What did you mean after the bank? My wife got killed in a bank robbery. Things kind of changed since. I'm sorry. Were you there? Yeah. All right. My private reserve. Don't anybody dare say no. <laughs> Lady first. Thank you. You bet. That's enough. A toast to old friends. To new friends. Was he always this tough? Ray, he used to practice. Staring into the mirror. Practice what? Looking tough. They said soul in the attitude. Did it work? Yeah, no mirror gave me trouble since. <laughs> you guys make me miss my family. I'm gonna go call my sister. to us because you are professionals and uh, very well respected in your field. 
Your skills, however, are in need for exactly the opposite of what you're used to. We're going to keep someone alive and safe. Her name is Adele, she's 18, and she's very scared. Now, some people are after her, and tomorrow, at 12, I'm going to help her leave the country for quite a place and a better future. Your job is to guarantee that until then she's safe. Short of an act of God, nobody, and I mean nobody, can come near her. Not even angels in her dreams. Understood? Now, show me your hardware, and we'll work out your spots. What about me? Who's that? I hired her. She's gone! She didn't get home today. Grandma thought she was with me. How would they know about your sister if she wasn't living with you? I told the photographer all about her, how pretty she is, how she'd be really good at it, too. God, it's always <laughs> Let's call the cops. No. What do you mean, no? They could ship her out, too. We gotta hurry. They're holding her for ransom. I'm going to the gallery. She's not at the gallery. What did we agree on? She's not at the gallery. He's not that stupid. He has a warehouse in the West End. Hey, wait, Ray. Why should we believe anything you say? Because I'm not going to jail. Adrian is. I, I wanted no part of this. Unfortunately, you are part of it. He's wasting our time. No, he's not. How do you know? He went for a pee. But he came back. Well, you are either brilliant or you're completely fucked up. How do we get to the warehouse? We? Well, you can't do this with just his help. What do we have? 508 transceivers, your C2 mag light, 822 binoculars, and the shotgun. What kind of thin? Well, I'm retired. Yeah, we're not trying to start a war. Things are bound to break wide open anyhow. Okay, remember, no microphone. The earphone picks up phone vibrations, so you can't whisper, but you got both hands free. Take it. No, I got this. You didn't tell me. I didn't feel like a speech about firearm safety. <laughs> How about this? Flashlight, I could use. Ray, do it so we can have a nice, quiet lunch after, OK?
smoking area. Who are you? This seems to be the problem. Don't you like my work? Big guy, uh, six foot three, heavy built. Just turn into the alley. Ray. Oh, damn. You wait. Fifteen minutes. And if we're not back, we call the cops. Hands up, and definitely away from the case. I call it spray and pray. Navy SEAL talk. We all have our baggage. You must be pretty good too if you got past the others. However, they're just migrant workers, journeymen. You see, I make a living at this, a very good one. All the toys. But I also feel that technology is highly overrated, impersonal. I left when they gave us tracking devices because I hate bosses over my shoulder or clipped on my belt. Men of our caliber can do without bullets. of those in it. Not me, man.
Loud and clear. Jesus, where were you? Taking out the garbage. Big guy just walked in. Could it be Wayne? What's he look like? 6'3, dark hair, average mountain size. That's him. Must be on top of you by now. I haven't seen anyone yet. Bad you're not staying. Get out of company. Shit! What's happening, Lisa? The sports car just went in. That's Adrian's. They didn't tell me what to do for that. I'm gonna call the cops now. No, 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 no. They said wait 15 minutes. And then what? Lisa, you've gotta let me go in there. You're crazy, I can't do that. My brother has never done anything stupid before, but with your sister, he has gone way overboard with this one. Let me go in there, I can talk to him. I can talk sense to him, I can stop this from happening, Lisa. Forget it. Just forget it. I shouldn't even talk to you until my boss gets here. But there's one little detail I'm sure he wouldn't care about. My Mickey! That was a silver-plated monogram gift, you stupid son of a bitch. When this is over, I'll personally make sure you join your wife. 
What about my wife? Nothing. We'll just finish what we started. You said... Shit. Now you're lopsided. Gotta fix you. Don't bother. Face down on the ground. Do it. Spread them wide. Gun on the left side. Well, well, well. A house full of guests. Well, obviously, you know the routine, so you and when you're gonna trade places. Thank you. Do it! Maybe the RFBI or something. Yeah, it would be all over us by now, but we should be careful. Linda, take Adele to the other room. I want to thank you for getting rid of the other guys outside. See, I didn't pay them there, which is good considering their incompetence. <laughs> I'll search with you for your lack of professionalism. When has his own business? Who shot her? Beg your pardon? My wife. Ah. Your wife. Win has a big mouth, doesn't he? Hmm? Well, it doesn't matter. Well, I apologize if it makes any difference, but I doubt it, right? But I'm the one asking the questions now. So where is Austin's body? Funny, B, but Wayne has a thing about chains, and I suggest you don't operate it. But it, it's really up to you, man. So what do you say? Where is Austin's body? OK. Ah! Oh. Oh. Mr. Stutton. I don't have much time. Whatever you're gonna say, he has to be confirmed with your colleague here. So, okay, when the other knee. Don't! You said he was dead. How would he know? From a rear view mirror? You fucked up, man. Shut up, Wen. You both fucked up. Oh. Now. What's up with the gun? Where's the girl? The girl's with me. It's over. Adrian, you have gone too far. Take a look around, man. People are dead. Come on, man. We're brothers. We're supposed to be close. That's close enough. You're not gonna shoot your brother. No, but I can stop him. <laughs> Way to go, Adrian. Oh, things got a little bit out of hand. The hell with you! It was supposed to be simple and clean fun. It still can be. Just drive to the airport. Our client is landing at 7. All we need is a good delivery. The clients are mine. 
It's my delivery, and I don't like being pulled by the hair. What about us? Lost and found merchandise. You're late. We've got a replacement. Not if I can help it. Dead? No, no, just Wayne and the last one. Adrian was just bleeding. You stay right here, okay? Linda's got your sister. Not anymore. What do you mean? She took the BB gun for a toy. <laughs> oh, Ray. Mr. Stanton, Agent Redman, FBI. Yeah, and I'm the pizza guy. You know, Ray, that badge does look real. I think I know the name, too. Why should I believe him? You worked with them. Against them. You've heard of undercover? You paid me client money. Agency funds. There weren't any clients this time. How come you're so late? We thought you were one of them. Had to leave you alone, so we round you up together. But you're hard to keep up with. Do I have to return the money? It's complicated, but I can work on it. So, what happened here? It's complicated, but you can work on it. Textbook first aid. So what's next? I need a job. I think I'll sell the van. Don't. That's your home. Maybe I'll come visit you sometime. Sure. 
My doors are open.